What's up guys? Um, I don't know if the broken car videos are getting a little bit redundant for you. I can tell you the broken cars are definitely getting redundant for me, but at least we get to start off today's video with a little bit of good news. I had the BMW up in the air just to kind of go through things, and guess what I found? This is actually the vacuum line that was on the wastegate. It was touching the manifold, I think however it was tucked or fastened must have came loose, and the whole line literally got so hot that I could honestly just like crumble it in my hands. It's insane. Now I know we still had tuning issues when the lines were in fact definitely good. This probably happened at the track days, but with the other changes that we've made, like the new DME and stuff, I'm hoping now with the vacuum line fixed, maybe we'll be able to finally tune the BMW properly. And in theory, since we were losing that much boost, a line that just wasn't even hooked up to the wastegate at all, it should spool faster. Don't know if I mentioned in the video, but I could see in the logs that boost was being limited by the throttle closing and not by the wastegate, probably because the line wasn't hooked up to the wastegate. Or was broken, I should say. What's really on the agenda tonight though, is figuring out once for all what is going on with the SR. My friend Randy that does my paint stuff is coming over along with Jeff, who's the owner of CW Pence, the machine shop that went over my engine for me. They think it's fine and there's just something stupid, maybe a line hooked up wrong or something, and fingers crossed, I really hope that it, that's it. I hope that it's my fault. I hope I hook up a line wrong or something and that's why my motor filled up with water. But we shall see. Another person is joining us for the SR diagnosis. Everybody say, what's up Alberto? How was the car at the event? It was awesome. I loved it. I had so much fun. This video will probably be out soon. Dude, you're killing it out there. Your car looks so good. Dude, I still can't believe that I got from like one drift event, from like being like really crappy at drifting, fighting the car to like, la la la, this is so much fun. I actually enjoying the car and like putting a lot of smoke that I always wanted to do. I'm so stoked to see you happy, Alberto. <laughs> All right, so we're hanging out. We got Chewy, Randy, I'm Jeff. <laughs> Alberto, Randy, what, what have we gone through so far? Uh, we've pressure tested the coolant system to see if maybe uh, the head gasket was bad or whatever. And then we also added pressure to the cylinders to see if maybe the block or the head was cracked, but we still haven't found a uh, reasoning why it's filled up with water, which is weird. So nothing really makes sense, and we're just getting to the point where we're just going to start it up again and I guess yes. see what happens. Yeah. There were a few water leaks uh, underneath the intake manifold that could have been maybe making it run a little warm. Um, Really weird though. Always got the Chinese food. Look at my cloudy lemonade. That's so bad. <laughs> what do you think of that, Alberto? Yeah, you should taste it. <laughs> Still see it? Uh, almost. Oh, you can see the water separating from the oil now. Yeah, Come on, camera, focus. Two streams of lemonade. Did a bunch of testing, got the car running, and uh, it was doing some weird stuff when it was still running hot, like I said when Alberto did it before, which we thought had to do with a head gasket or maybe a crack or something. But uh, I noticed that the lower radiator hose wasn't really getting as warm as it should. So maybe something was going with a the thermostat, because we took it out and now it seems to be running at least uh, properly cool and not doing ab any abnormal stuff. Obviously it's gonna run cooler without a thermostat, but it doesn't appear to be doing any weird stuff, so we're about to go take it for a test. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys know how excited I am, but like testing the SR, oh boy. This is so exciting. Dude, I keep on hearing the noise of that freaking flashlight and thinking it's something wrong with my car. Stop it! Alberto and this little crank flashlight. It's so boring. <laughs> <Cool, man. laughs> the, seats, the seats are a Woo! little bit snug. It's a little snug in here. You should roll. It's wet out, so we're not gonna get much traction. It was spinning in like fourth. <laughs> 
Yeah, fourth gear is like breaking loose. What the heck? Alberto, does this feel as weird to you as it is to me? It does, but it seems to be working. I'm like... It kind of makes me a little nervous. Like, what yeah. Like what the heck? It's like, is this, is this fine? It was that a fluke thing? Like, <laughs> what, like what, what even just happened? I don't even know. Like, like we're all asking ourselves the same question over here. Like, we're all shaking our heads like, ah. Uh, so this happened, but then now, it's like it didn't happen. Everything's fine. It's like, it's very suspicious. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous. It, it feels a little bit too good to be true. That's why, like, I'm happy and I'm very excited, but I know how these things go, and I'm, I'm just like, taking everything with a grain of salt, like, you don't know. Maybe once we put the thermostat back in, we'll see if anything weird's going on, but I mean, it stayed ice cold, considering it had no thermostat, but I mean, I was ripping. Like, I was like, first, second, third. I'm so excited for you to hear it. I can't wait to hear it, but in the dry. Yeah, in the dry. In the wet, it's just literally spin <laughs> city. But um, just to reiterate kind of what we did, pressure tested the radiator to see if uh, that was possibly leaking or if it was leaking at the head gasket, pressurized the cylinders to see vice versa if we saw anything in the radiator, inspected everything, everywhere, put it back together just to try to start it and see what happened. Um, it seemed like the thermostat was acting up and not opening, which is kind of weird. Just a brand new Nissan OEM uh, thermostat. Took the thermostat out just to see if it would still get hot without it and uh, it appears to be good. So that stuff that we saw on the radiator might have just been shellac and that water in the valve cover and that water in the cylinders. I don't this, really This is no. all that I like goes through my hair and I was like, oh my God. I mean, well, listen, look at it this way, Alberto. Look at it this way. We both thought that the block was cracked or that the head gasket was bad or something. So we would have had to take it out anyway. Yeah, we, we definitely didn't push it because something was definitely wrong. But now we took everything apart. We checked all the hoses. We checked everything. We got the machine shop guys here. We all went to it and we all came to a conclusion. All right, everything checks out. We did every possible test and the car runs good. It's like, what happened? Like this, this doesn't add up. Like now it's like all of a sudden like it's good. So like, so like just go for it. Like. Very, 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 very weird. Um, something that we should know is we're gonna have to do numerous oil changes because of the stuff that got in there. Uh, it doesn't just get out through one oil change. So that's something I'll continue to be doing. But um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I can like beat on the car now. Like, I, what do you think? Send it? I don't know. Do I? Send it. Do I just drive it? Go for it. I feel like this is this is too easy. I don't feel challenged anymore. We did realize with these new motor mounts, it actually like my engine's way higher than it used to be for some reason. Um, so it's actually hitting the hood. So gonna have to figure out a solution for that. Maybe grind the hood a little bit or something. Or I could probably raise the hood too. I, don't, I think it sits a little bit lower than it needs to. I'll, I'll check that out. We never finished this early, so uh, we're gonna take advantage of it. And Alberto's gonna try the simulator. Whoa! What happened? I'm gonna spin on the whole no, I just want to, it's, dude, it's just like the craziest experience ever. You're going to love it. Better than drifting in real life? A hundred percent. Way better. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, your head's like it's in the roof. Even, it's not even touching the, the shifter. It's like not there. Like, bro, the shifter's over there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you see? Now we kind of teased you with these uh, few videos back, but we didn't want to release them yet because we didn't have them all signed up and everything. Nicole. Why do you have a blue tongue? Oh, I had a, I had a dum dum at the bank. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have Nicole drifting, um, I don't know when this was, like a month or two ago? Yeah, so this was that uh, one of those last track days. This is gonna be the next limited edition poster, so if you aren't familiar, we usually do like one of these posters every month. We make 400 of them. This one is Nicole doing a sweet dirt drop and uh, all of them are numbered and signed. By yours truly. <laughs> in addition to the new posters, we also have some new merch. One of them including the No Sleep Tea. Do you want me to film the back? What? Do you want me to film the back? Sure, I feel like No Sleep is so appropriate given the last couple of videos that we've had. I like I'm one so of, I'm, I'm more stoked on one of the future shirts coming that I think is even more appropriate. 
No, that, that one's out too. I'm, Are you serious? Yeah, I just, I just don't have it in person, so I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. Oh. Yeah, they're at the warehouse. I haven't picked them up yet. Oh, sick. Perfect plug though. <laughs> That, that was totally natural. We also have one other tea. If you remember, we had a premium tea that's like extra soft, even though our normal teas are already very soft. This is like super soft. I really like this design, so we just did it in a cool, different color. In addition to those three shirts, we have one other shirt and one other hat that I'm gonna put on the screen right now. And just as a reminder, because a couple of people have been hitting me up since it's tax refund season, we do still give you guys a free t-shirt when you purchase BC coilovers off the site. I'm gonna go ahead and list the coupon codes that I have for sites like Cosmos Racing. If you wanna get a set of wheels or any car parts from Injuku, I have like discount codes that I'll put in the description. As I know sometimes it's a pain to go through old videos and find those. I might do like a small first day discount code or something on the new merch. If I do, I'll put that in the description below. Show sure, man. What'd you do? I ran it over. Oh no, G7X number five. You left it on the middle of the, of the driveway, I didn't know. Yeah, it is kind of my fault. I tend to leave things and forget where I left them. No, I was driving and the switch tracks out there and I thought that was a little bump. No, that bump was my camera, it felt, dog. It felt kind of excessive, so I was like, whatever, and I got out and I saw it just dead. Poor camera, RIP, bro. Dude, first my fisheye lens, now my camera. <laughs> no, Way back no, in the day, like, no. what was it, like six years ago? Yeah, yeah. Showman broke my fisheye and then just started chanting no for like an hour. No, 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 no. Oh, I just hope the card's good because I have footage on here that I need for today's video. All right, so I had time to sleep on it and here's my current hypothesis with what happened with the SR. It all doesn't add up, but this seems to be the most logical explanation. I don't really understand it completely, so it may not make sense, but it seems to make the most sense as to why it filled up with what we think is water in the first place. So the lines were unhooked on the car for maybe about two weeks, and I know that E85 tends to draw water into itself and gets a little bit like watered down and such. Mainly when it's exposed to humidity, we live in Florida, there's a lot of humidity. So I think when we were priming the engine, when we were about to first start it, maybe we didn't unplug the injectors, so it was dumping fuel into the cylinders, but because the E85 had been exposed to so much humidity, maybe it resembled water much more than E85 and didn't smell as strong as it normally would. And maybe we mistook it for water in the cylinders when it was actually E85 and it was just flooded. However, that doesn't really explain the compression in the radiator. Maybe that was just from the water pump turning or something. And it doesn't really explain what we think is seeing the uh, orangish tinge of water wetter on the dipstick. But it seems to be the most logical explanation from here. But what we've kind of come to the conclusion of is that the car seems to be exhibiting no issues of engine problems. So we're gonna run it, see if anything happens. And uh, I think before we end the video, it's time for a little celebratory burnout. What do you think, Shulman? I agree. You agree? You agree? If you guys agree, comment below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mom. Go show your mom the video and then tweet the video at me like someone did when I retweeted their tweet. Shout out to you.